there's pretty much an app for everything these days. If you think about a task that you need to do or information that you need, there's probably an app for that. Startups at GE Healthcare's Health Innovation Village here in Helsinki, Finland, quickly saw needs for patients and people at home in quarantine. Mika Kalpinen, whom I'm about to go and have a chat with, heads up the Health Innovation Village where all this happens. Mika, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? doing? Winning? <laughs> totally losing. <laughs> As always. Hey, well, good to meet you. Let's do a little bit of the old tote up. Hey. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. This is the uh, Health Innovation Village in Helsinki, Finland. What is the Health Innovation Village? Well, Health Innovation Village is essentially an ecosystem for uh, digital health companies, startup companies. And we're centered around G Healthcare here in Helsinki. And basically the idea is that we have small startup companies collaborating with a huge company like GE Healthcare and trying to find solutions for transforming healthcare. So the idea is that we can have small companies getting the benefits of the big companies while at the same time GE Healthcare gets a lot of these very you know, nimble and agile small companies around itself to do things that a big company might not want to do. And when it comes to COVID-19, um, that's really been a game changer, hasn't it, for some of the startups that have been here? Have you got any examples of who you've been working with? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, telemedicine has taken a huge leap, obviously. Um, you know, not just about the COVID-19 patients, but taking care of the rest of the patients that don't want to go to the hospital um, and can't go to the hospital for various reasons. So that's, keeping, that, keeping that distance. So keeping that distance and, and, and being able to still take care of those patients at home. So that's what digital healthcare is mostly about. So we have a great example, Body Healthcare, for example, upstairs. Um, UC Mata, who is the CEO, has a very personal experience, you know, like where the company got founded and he founded the company based on that. Of course you are, right by the Italian little car. Of course. <laughs> That's what we do here. Yeah. How's it going? Doing good. Let's do a bit of a, uh, a toe tap here. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Okay, so Miko's told me all about Buddy Health. Um, he says you've got a pretty cool story behind it. How did it all come about? Five years ago, I was a business developer in another health IT company and uh, had a road trip in the US, met a couple of hospitals. Ended up in a discussion with one children's hospital in the Midwest and they started telling me about the challenges they had with their new outpatient surgery center. Uh, with, and they told me that uh, they had more than 10,000 operations per year. During the worst weeks, they suffered even 17, like a flu season, they suffered even 17% of no-so and cancellation rate. Their nurses spent around 75 minutes per patient, uh, admin work, papers, phone calls. And I somehow got engaged, came back to Finland and discussed with a couple of hospitals here and learned that the problem is universal. Now, there's a personal story to this too, right? Yeah, actually at the same time, my, my small daughter had a, had a small minor operation in, in, in the hospital here in Helsinki and I really faced the challenges that parents face when preparing for the operation with the kid. None of the information were available, everything were on the paper, I lost the papers. So instead of asking, I'm an investor, describe to me what the Buddy Health app does, I'm going to say, I'm a doctor. Yeah describe to me what it does. It might be the same thing, I don't know, but tell me, what is, <laughs> what, what is Buddy Health? Stuff. It's a pretty different thing. And so what we do, we automate care protocols, so care, patient journey from home to hospital and from hospital to back home. So in our application, patient gets all the information, actions, reminders, tasks, questions they need to take when navigating throughout the surgery process. And at the same time, you as a doctor are able to follow in real time what patient has done, what piece of information patient has read, and what they haven't read, they got automated re reminders. So basically, you can forget the patients who are at home, and you can really focus on the patients who are inside the hospital at the moment. And how does this come into its own when it comes to COVID-19? The application is given to a patients who have diagnosed having a, having a COVID or they have some symptoms that seem that they may have a COVID, but they are not severe enough, so patient is sent to home. And, and, and without the application, hospitals typically call every single patient who are at home every single day. And it's a huge amount of work, so with our application, they can simply collect information, what's the fever, what are the symptoms today, and they can monitor if the uh, symptoms are getting worse or more severe, and then invite patient to a hospital. What have you learned as the founder during COVID-19, and, and what does it mean for the evolution of your app? 
Uh, actually, what we have learned is that uh, hospitals, no, no, nowadays hospitals have to be really careful of who they admit into hospitals. So previously everyone could walk in and now hospitals have to be really careful that the patients who are having the operation, they, don't, they should not have any symptoms, any symptoms for infections or COVID. And that's where we, that's what I have learned. That's where we can heavily help hospitals. And you can download this from the Apple Store? Yeah, you can download the App Store and it's always... Uh, uh, pre so to say prescribed by your hospital so it's not only for patients the real value of the application is that there should be all professional using using the dashboard and patient using the application brilliant you uh, thanks so much for talking me through the app and uh, you know good luck with the future of it thank you cheers